What happens if an empath is hurt to the point of suffering by a narcissist? Here's what happened. Welcome, everyone. Today, we'll be delving into the remarkable traits of empaths, focusing on their innate qualities of compassion, kindness, patience, understanding, and selflessness. However, despite these admirable traits, empaths often struggle to assert boundaries leaving them vulnerable to exploitation. Even individuals with immense patience have limits that can lead to their breaking point. In this video, we'll explore 10 remarkable transformations that occur when empaths finally assert their boundaries. Get ready for an enlightening journey, and don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing for more captivating content. Let's dive in. Firstly, Let's discuss the quest for authentic communication. Empaths are renowned for their gentle and considerate choice of words. Their uplifting, hopeful, peaceful, egalitarian, just, and loving language has the power to uplift others. They recognize the profound impact of words on everyday relationships and understand the potency of effective public speaking. However, there comes a point where the impact of their words becomes stagnant, hindering empath's progress. Waiting becomes tiresome, and the meticulously selected words begin to lose their luster. During moments of anger or frustration, empaths may forego careful consideration and instead express themselves directly and firmly. Moving on to number two, liberating yourself from the emotions of others. In the presence of others, Empaths absorb their emotions, often neglecting their own feelings in the process. However, there comes a point where empaths prioritize their own emotional well-being over others. After tirelessly dedicating themselves to improving the lives of others, empaths redirect their focus towards their own mental health. This shift occurs when the individuals they've been supporting exhibit toxic, abusive, or anxiety-inducing behaviours. It's crucial to acknowledge that empaths don't lose interest in others. Rather, they become acutely attuned to their own emotions, which may be challenging for some to comprehend. Empaths recognise that prioritising their mental health is the most effective approach to addressing their own struggles, even if it means being less attuned to the feelings of others. Next. Let's discuss the unsettling silence. Empaths excel at lending a compassionate ear and offering support to those in need. They often become the go-to confidence for friends and acquaintances seeking solace. However, constantly shouldering the burdens of others' problems can take its toll. At times, empaths reach a breaking point where they no longer have the capacity to listen and must prioritize expressing their own feelings. Empaths experience hardships just like everyone else and require an outlet to articulate their emotions. Consequently, individuals, particularly narcissists, may be taken aback when empaths, who were once dependable listeners, abruptly refrain from offering their empathetic ear. The rise of acerbic mockery is the fourth thing. As their very nature, empaths radiate kindness, caring, and love. Having to deal with constant mistreatment from their abusers, on the other hand, can slowly turn their behavior into one that is angry and sarcastic. To fight back against the inflated sense of self-importance that their abusers give them, empaths may use sarcasm to poke holes in their minds. When empaths go through gaslighting, Victim blaming, manipulation, smear campaigns, and other types of narcissistic abuse, they can lose their sweet personality. 5. The end of being able to understand. People who are empaths naturally understand how people act, and they are always interested in studying and observing the complex web of personalities they meet. Their intuitive skills allow them to see through people's masks and get to the heart of who they are. Unlike people who make quick conclusions, empaths try to understand the soul, mind, and heart of someone in a deep way, trying to understand them as a whole. 
However, as empaths get close to their limits, they lose the ability to fully understand other people. Because empaths are always taking in, analyzing, and making sense of other people's flaws and attitudes, they eventually become mentally exhausted. So their brains, which used to be very open, reluctantly shut down, making it hard for them to understand the actions and flaws of those around them. It's not a surprise that empaths have a hard time figuring out why people do the things they do after going through abuse, manipulation, and many other bad things. 6. The pulling back of helping hands. Being an empath means that a person is naturally kind and willing to help others, whether they are people or animals. Unfortunately, some people take advantage of and abuse this good quality for their own gain. When this kind of abuse gets too much, empaths pull their loving hands back into their pockets to protect them. Imagine being in a relationship where you give your partner your whole heart and soul, but they never return the favour. Of course, there comes a time when things just can't be taken anymore, and someone has to say what they think. Dear empaths, you are not demanding. Instead, you believe in the balance of a relationship in which both people give and receive. You want relationships that meet the needs of both people in a fair and harmonious way. But when you're with narcissists, or people who are only interested in themselves, that ideal friendship stays out of reach. Giving isn't the problem. The problem is empaths not being aware of their own resources and setting healthy limits to keep others from taking advantage of their kindness and generosity. Number seven, the release of anger that has been held back. A lot of people admire empaths for how calm and patient they are. They take on other people's attention-seeking habits and rarely let their own annoyance show. On the other hand, every empath has a breaking point where their anger can't be held in any longer and explodes out of control. Under their calm exterior, empaths are quietly dealing with their own problems, waiting for the right time to let out all of their feelings. This person seems to have a lot of patience, but even the calmest empath can get angry out of the blue. The eighth thing is the light going out. In the narcissistic world we live in, empaths are like beams of light and hope that shine on other people's lives. Their optimism has the amazing power to make people feel better and ease their worries. But empaths get tired, just like a light bulb that stays on all the time. The constant shine of super empaths may lose its shine and turn into a sad atmosphere. That's when empaths' emotional fatigue sets in, and they can't shine their light on those who need it because they are too busy dealing with their own sadness. The ninth one, the going away of sensitivities. Empaths are naturally sensitive and are always very aware of how their words and actions might affect other people's mental and emotional health. They move through the world with awareness, thinking carefully about how each action will affect others. But after a while, empaths' sensitivity levels start to slowly go down. Imagine always trying not to offend other people, but being easily offended yourself. When this happens, anger could boil over in a matter of seconds. Because empaths are always feeling and being affected by other people's emotions, they don't always pay attention to their own. So, in order to protect their health, empaths may actively hide how sensitive they are, numbing themselves emotionally on purpose. Tenth, the mirror of those who hurt you. After going through a lot of pain and suffering from their attackers, empaths may use mirroring as a way to protect themselves. By acting and behaving like their abusers, empaths try to show their attackers how wrong they are and give them a taste of their own medicine. When empaths show abusers how they act, the abusers become deeply affected and can't take their eyes off of the image. Abusers may feel uncomfortable when they hear the sounds of mockery, ridicule, or even threat. It is important to remember, though, that empaths who use mirroring should not be seen as making excuses for more attacks 
or violent behavior like this. When people hit their breaking points, they may act in ways that aren't normally associated with them. It's important not to think that this means empaths are becoming cruel and angry. People should understand that empaths are just like everyone else. They are people with flaws and limits. In the same way, empaths may feel like they need to teach their attackers a lesson. Feel free to share your ideas and thoughts in the area below for comments. Let's make more people aware of empaths and warn them not to cross limits with them, while also recognizing and appreciating their natural kindness, compassion and patience. If you think you might be an empath or have personal stories to share, please do so. When was the last time you had to deal with something that made you test your patience? In the comments below, you can connect with our caring community and make your opinion heard. Please like this movie and subscribe to our channel to see more interesting videos. Thanks for seeing it. Welcome to the latest installment of Unveiling the Narcissist. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Today, we delve into the intricate web of a narcissist's anxieties, shedding light on the underlying reasons behind their constant fretting. Remember, fear is the driving force behind a narcissist's actions, often leaving them entrenched in paranoia and apprehension. Their minds are consumed by a plethora of worries, albeit some entirely unfounded, yet they perceive them as genuine due to their deep-seated paranoia. So, let's delve into eight pressing concerns that plague the covert narcissist's mind, shaping their behaviors and interactions with others. Worrying is a natural human experience, but for narcissists, it stems from a place of profound insecurity, fueling their perpetual need to safeguard their fragile sense of self. While our focus today is on the covert narcissist, it's important to note that many of these concerns resonate across the spectrum of narcissistic personalities. The fear of abandonment looms large in the covert narcissist's psyche. Eight concerns that keep narcissists awake at night. 1. Fear of abandonment. Narcissists dread the thought of being left alone. They harbor deep-seated insecurities about people eventually walking away from them. To combat this fear, they strive to exert control over others' thoughts, emotions, and financial dependence. By ensuring others remain reliant on them, narcissists feel secure in their relationships, wielding the power to accept or reject as they see fit. Simple actions like delayed responses to messages or tardiness can trigger intense anxiety in narcissists, reinforcing their fear of abandonment. 2. Loss of respect. The covert narcissist is particularly fixated on maintaining respect from others. They view respect as an entitlement rather than something to be earned. Their meticulously crafted facade demands unwavering admiration, and any perceived slight or change in demeanor from others is met with defensiveness or silence. Even subtle shifts in tone or body language can ignite fears of disrespect in the mind of a narcissist, prompting them to guard their fragile ego with fervor. These concerns encapsulate the intricate web of anxieties that narcissists grapple with daily, shaping their behaviors and interactions in their relentless pursuit of validation and control. Thirdly, Narcissists are constantly plagued by the fear of their flaws or weaknesses being exposed to others. This fear drives them to avoid solo projects, preferring to collaborate with others instead. By doing so, they can deflect blame onto their collaborators if anything goes awry, thus evading responsibility. While narcissists struggle with working alone, they relish in receiving praise when things go well. However, this also opens them up to criticism if their shortcomings are uncovered. Narcissists detest being corrected, as it bruises their fragile egos. Consequently, they meticulously curate their public image, striving to present themselves flawlessly at all times to avoid any hint of imperfection. 
Additionally, narcissists harbour a deep-seated fear of blending in with the crowd and being perceived as ordinary. They loathe the idea of being equated with others, striving instead to maintain an air of superiority. This compels them to invest significant time and effort into cultivating their achievements and outward appearance. Their aim is not merely to boast about their accomplishments, but to assert their dominance and remain in the limelight. Despite their relentless pursuit of success, the fear of fading into obscurity continues to haunt them, as nothing they achieve ever seems sufficient. Furthermore, narcissists grapple with the constant dread of not being the focal point of attention. They fear being overshadowed by others, whether it be in the workplace, social circles, or even within their own families. This underlying sense of competition drives narcissists to go to great lengths to monopolize attention and ensure that the spotlight remains squarely on them. Sixthly, narcissists harbor a fear of being manipulated, which is ironic considering their propensity to exploit others. Yet, this fear stems from their own manipulative tendencies, leading them to believe that others may seek to use them in return. Consequently, they approach interactions with extreme caution and suspicion, always on the lookout for any signs of deceit or manipulation. In an attempt to preemptively protect themselves, narcissists may resort to manipulating others before they can be manipulated themselves. The seventh concern plaguing narcissists is the dread of being ridiculed or mocked. Despite their outward arrogance, narcissists are deeply insecure and dread the thought of being judged or belittled by others. While they may readily dish out criticism to others, they are unable to handle even the slightest hint of mockery directed towards them. Narcissists may resort to self-deprecation as a means to preemptively deflect criticism and garner praise, but ultimately, they cannot bear the thought of becoming the subject of ridicule. Any perceived slight or mockery is met with swift and severe retaliation, as narcissists strive to protect their fragile egos at all costs. Lastly, narcissists fret over their perceived inability to maintain control over their surroundings. They believe that manipulation is the key to maintaining dominance and seek to exert control over every aspect of their environment. By wielding power over others, narcissists aim to dictate their actions, emotions and thoughts, thus ensuring their own security and stability. For narcissists, being in control alleviates their fears of abandonment, humiliation and disrespect. However, their insatiable desire for control means that they are constantly on the lookout for new opportunities to assert dominance and secure their position of power. In wrapping up, in essence, the narcissist perpetually teeters on the brink of anxiety due to their inherent suspicion and discontentment. Their primary concern revolves around safeguarding their carefully crafted image, seemingly consumed by their own self-absorption. The well-being of others holds little significance to narcissists, overshadowed by their preoccupation with irrational fears of potential harm or embarrassment inflicted by others. That concludes our discussion for today. If you have encountered any other whimsical fears attributed to narcissists, feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Everyone is welcome to join us today for another captivating segment. Let's dive right in. Today, I want to delve into the narcissist's sinister desire for your downfall. This has been their underlying objective from the start. No matter where you go, narcissists want it to seem like you've brought harm upon yourself intentionally. However, the truth is that the conflict was instigated by the narcissist although they refuse to acknowledge this until it's too late. It's important to note that covert narcissists shun tasks that involve getting their hands dirty. They prefer to delegate unpleasant tasks to others. Understanding this, the concept of flying monkeys 
is crucial in grasping covert narcissists' behaviour. Yet, their subtle mistreatment is aimed at driving you to the brink of madness. That's why I've created this video to shed light on how narcissists seek to harm you without direct physical contact. When it comes to deception, narcissists excel at deflecting blame onto others, even in the absence of evidence. Their public image and facade of invincibility are paramount, driving them to operate in the shadows. As a result, narcissistic abuse can go unnoticed for extended periods. This covert warfare is difficult to prove. Victims need access to information and the ability to document conversations to expose inconsistencies or lies. Without intervention, narcissists will continue playing their game where only their victory matters. To a narcissist, total destruction of another individual signifies triumph. Once the game begins, everyone puts on their best behavior. Toxic narcissists may initially appear helpful, but eventually they change the rules and reveal their true colors. They may subtly encourage you to engage in activities that go against your usual habits, or tempt you to regress into past behaviors you've worked hard to overcome. Narcissists are the type of people who would urge you to drink despite knowing your history of alcoholism. If you've struggled with substance abuse, associating with these individuals would be ill-advised. They would conspire to sabotage your progress and undermine your livelihood. They are threatened by your success and will go to great lengths to impede your advancement. Consequently, narcissists deliberately surround you with people who harbour animosity towards you, ensuring you are frequently exploited and mistreated. The narcissist's ultimate goal is to reduce you to the lowest emotional and mental state possible, as they have come to terms with their own inability to attain your level of perfection. They will stop at nothing to discredit or eliminate you. Trusting a narcissist can be emotionally draining and potentially hazardous. Prolonged exposure to their manipulative tactics can exacerbate negative effects, leading to health issues such as weight gain and mental fatigue. It's no secret what the narcissist's next move will be. They revel in our failures, so they will intensify their pressure. They take pleasure in witnessing our physical decline and delight in our succumbing to vices that tarnish our reputation and alienate us from them. Narcissists behave in this manner because they harbour self-loathing and envy towards your accomplishments. The narcissist could be anyone, from a family member like a parent, spouse or sibling to friends, employees or in-laws. This is because narcissists perceive personal relationships and family dynamics differently from the rest of us. They tend to view others as adversaries, especially if someone appears more popular or appealing than them. In such cases, the narcissist will relentlessly target that person, often making it seem as if they orchestrated the conflict alone. They may try to manipulate you into engaging in risky or foolish behaviour and then pretend to express concern about it behind your back. The cruelty of narcissists lies in their ability to manipulate others to ensnare their victims. However, their success in doing so only fuels their satisfaction. Inflicting pain on others brings them joy, and they meticulously plan their actions rather than leaving things to chance. They have likely been plotting against you for some time, with a well-organized strategy to cause you harm and deceive you. They may even meticulously plan your downfall, manipulating perceptions to shift blame onto you for any negative outcomes, even if you're not at fault and have no mental health issues. You made the choice to indulge in drinking or drugs, so the responsibility lies with you. Even when the narcissist appears to offer help, it's you who ultimately made the decision to end your life through suicide. This twisted outcome is exactly what the narcissist desires for all their victims. They aim to paint themselves as heroes who genuinely care about your well-being by causing you harm. But don't let this be the final chapter. 
Never grant a narcissist the satisfaction of branding you as self-destructive. Break free from their emotional grip by cutting all ties with narcissists. Recognize them for the self-serving individuals they are and break away from their influence before it's too late. Regrettably, that's all I can cover in today's video. I sincerely hope you found this information enlightening. If you have any thoughts or experiences to share, please do so in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Wishing you all abundant blessings this week. Have you ever met someone who didn't seem to care about how you felt or your health? They might have shown signs of being very self-centered. It can be hard to deal with people who take advantage of others and use manipulation to get what they want. Don't worry though, you have the power to defend yourself. It's time to take back control and destroy the fake world that narcissists have made. Now let's talk about 10 words that will help you stand up to narcissists and protect your health. Are you ready to take back your power? Let's start our trip. First, let go of the handle. It can be tiring to deal with a narcissist, especially if they won't give up their power in a fight or competition. They have an unquenchable desire to win at all costs and can't give up. It doesn't matter how far behind they are, Narcissists will always try to win and avoid losing. There's no doubt that this habit can make you angry. But remember that it turns into a mental fight. Believe in your own decisions and don't let what they do affect how you react. Show that you have no fear and a firm attitude. In the end, they will give up. Prepare for counter-attacks, but find comfort in taking back control and putting your health first. Know that you are standing up for yourself and your mental health when you let go. Say no to a narcissist when they ask you to. For narcissists, saying no is like a knife to their fragile ego. It hurts their sense of being loved and how strong they think they are. They make avoiding the word no their main goal, which makes them use manipulation and control to get what they want. Though, it's important to be strong and clear about your limits by saying no when you need to. If a narcissist asks you to do something that could put your safety or well-being at risk, you can say no. If they keep putting pressure on you, put your own health and safety first and leave their company before they hurt you. Don't forget that you can make your own rules and say no to what they want. Accept the idea that taking care of yourself shouldn't be tainted by the fake guilt that their tricks cause. Third place. Say these words. I don't care. Narcissists need attention and will do anything to make themselves feel good about how important and right they are. There's no denying that being close to these kinds of people is tiring. Narcissists, on the other hand, can be stopped in their tracks with the words... I don't care. These three words, which may seem easy, cut to the core of a narcissist's pride. Their whole sense of self-worth depends on approval from other people, so saying, I don't care, means they don't want to be recognized for anything. Not letting them exist is the same thing. Some people have a hard time understanding why narcissists need so much praise. They don't really know who they are so they're always looking for outside validation of their presence. They can't feel like they're truly alive unless other people think they're important. 4. Stop trying to control me. It can be hard to deal with a narcissist's constant need to be in charge. It's important to know, though, that you can set limits and stop them from trying to control you. It may seem scary to stand up for yourself and stop them from controlling you, but it is very important for your health. Keep your cool and take charge of the situation. Make it clear that you don't want to be used as a tool and that you want to be treated with respect. Being aggressive or rude is not necessary when you want to stand up for yourself. You might even earn the narcissist's reluctant respect if you set clear limits in a calm way and let them know about them. Even though they might get angry, 
it is still better than giving in to what they want. 5. Say, it has nothing to do with you. When the narcissist acts like they think the world swirls around them, it can be hard on your mind and body to deal with their actions.